So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to the link, which will be down below in the description. Now, once we're here, you just wanna scroll down and then click on download. And now you're gonna click on download auto runs. Wait for this to load. Once it's been downloaded, you wanna right click on it and then click on show in folder. And now we should be having this. Once you have the auto run zip file, you want to right click on it and hold it. Then you just want to drag it right here and then click on extract. Now you can untick this and then click on extract again. And now this should appear. Double click on this. And then once you're on this, you're going to be having auto runs and auto run 64. To know which one that you want to click on, you want to head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to look next to system type. For me, I'm using x64. So I'm gonna click on the 64 one. If your one says 32 or 86, you're gonna click on the other one. So in my case, I'm on X64. So I'm gonna be going to the 64 one. I'm gonna double click on this. If yours is the other one, you're gonna go to this one. So in my case, I'm gonna double click on this one right here. And then click on agree. And now this will come up. It's now gonna start running a scan for you. Wait for this to load. And then once that scan's been completed, it's gonna be saying right here, ready. Now, in the search bar right here, you're gonna type in VBS. And now anything that you see here that is highlighted in red, you want to delete it. For me, I have nothing here because I've already done this before. So after you type in VBS and then all of these files come up, if you see anything that's highlighted in red, so for me, everything's highlighted in white right now and I have some yellow right here. However, if anything's highlighted in red, then you wanna right click on it and then click on delete. And then click on okay. But make sure that you typed in VBS and then you wanna look down this list after you typed in VBS. And then once you've done that, you just want to close out of this. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. You want to wait for the scan to get to 100%. Once you complete the scan, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed. 